Hey everybody, my name is Jex. I'm part of the Hack the Box team, and today I get to show you something really cool. I get to dive into a part of Meerkat, one of our new Sherlock's. Now we have quite a few of these that we have posted and it looks like people are already diving into them. This one already has 334 solves, which you all have crushed it. Um, it looks like people are really enjoying them. And if you're looking for them, right above rankings here. So I'm gonna just jump right into this one. All right, so we landed on this page and just a brief disclaimer, I'm not gonna be sharing any of these answers. The reason being at Hack the Box, we do not share the answers until a machine is retired. This gives everybody the opportunity to uh, attempt the machine without it being spoiled for them. I think that's really important for our community. And we have a ton of really good content engineers that spend time putting all of these together and, you know, want to think about them too. So the first thing that I want to do is go over here and get these downloads going. These are the artifacts that you're going to be using to answer the questions throughout the Sherlock. Uh, this lock right here will help you unlock the zip file once these are downloaded so that you can open up the contents and really start digging into them. So what I want to do here is I kind of want to read the scenario um, while that might be downloading. So as a fast growing startup, Varela have been utilizing a business management platform. Unfortunately, our documentation is scarce and our administrators aren't the most security aware. As our new security provider, we'd like you to take a look at the PCAP and log data we have exported to confirm if we have or have not been compromised. So very clear and detail of what you're going to be doing here. So by now, you know, your files might be downloaded and you could really just start digging into it. And I'm going to look at those with you right now. All right. So as you can see, I already extracted the folder here. Uh, if I click into it, I got these two files. I have meerkat.pcap and meerkatalerts.json. Now, for those just starting their adventure, a PCAP file is a packet capture file, and it's what network analysts use to sort of visualize data, whether that's using tools like Wireshark to do that, or if you're just sitting in a terminal and that's all you have, you can just use TCP dump. Uh, whatever your flavor is, you can totally do it. So I'll just show you what that might look like with Wireshark as soon as uh, that pops up. Remind me later. And yeah, look at this. Uh, you have a GUI that really gives you an entire lookout to what's happening on a network. Uh, and additionally, let's look at that log file. So if we go back, we can open this up using a text editor or you can use Notepad++ if you're on Windows, what have you. But as you can see, this can be very overwhelming and I totally understand that. So what I like to do is sort of like parse through this a little bit with you. Okay, so I've opened these up side by side because I want to get through these first three questions with you. And again, I'm not giving you the answers. I'm giving you sort of the thought process that led me to getting these answers. Um, so the first one asks if I can confirm the name of the application that's running. Uh, your best friend when you're going through logs is uh, command F if you already know the material. So if you're being asked, uh, you know, the CVE that's assigned, maybe using command F helps. But for this one in particular, you just want to look for the anomaly in all of this uh, data soup and it's very clear what is and isn't an application. So scroll through it. And once you find something that seems, uh, you know, along the lines of what you're looking for, uh, definitely go and check out what it is online uh, before you just decide you wanna put in the answer. I know a lot of people wanna rush through and get these questions completed and totally get it, that's fun. But you also wanna understand what you are looking at. It will help you later and you know, you will service yourself by having um, learned a lot more in the process. And uh, so that kind of breaks this off. Look for a uh, application that's running and you know, the CVE assigned, you want to be able to use the find tool for that because that will cut down your time just a little bit. But this one, this one is something that you gain from a little bit of experience. And by that, I mean, you're going to be looking at a lot of logs on your journey. And as you go through all these logs, you're going to develop a eye for patterns or understand, you know, what brute forcing could look like and what is happening that makes you feel like it's a specific type of brute forcing. But yeah, that is the uh, majority of my run through here. Again, these three answers, these first three, you will find within this log here. 
And that's it. You just took your first steps through a Sherlock. Now, I want to let you know it might be important to have a Windows and a Linux machine just in case because some of the Sherlocks require one or the other. But other than that, I want to see you go out there and solve your first Sherlock today.